Okay, I'm sorry that this video's audio might be a little bit bad. Um, it's because I am at someone else's house and they have, like, music playing and stuff. So, if there is some background noise, I'm really sorry, but I can't do anything about it. So, but today's tutorial is going to be um, on how to use keyframes to do edits so that you can do things like this. Like shakes and stuff like this. That's an unfinished edit, so yeah. But I made some different transitions like this one. one so you can do a lot with keyframes and they're actually pretty easy they seem harder than they are so first you're just gonna do like you normally would for a video and if you don't know how to do that then I'm gonna do a quick walk through that I'll do a video on like the basic basics of video star later so first you press a little plus and then you select your format I'm just gonna leave it at the square so you press select song, and then there's going to be all these songs you can choose from. I don't recommend using these. I would recommend coming over here and pressing videos, and then s beforehand screen record the sound that you want to use. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, I've already started, but you're going to crop the sound to where you want it to be. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I have my sound selected now. Um, so, so then you just press make video. And now this is going to pop up, and you're going to press import photo if you want to do a photo edit. But if you want to do a video edit, then you press import video. But I'm going to do a photo edit, so I'm going to press import photo and select the photo that I want. I'm just going to select how long I want it to go for by using this little white part and this set end button. Okay, I think I have the selection that I want, so then you're just going to press import. And then it's going to start importing the photo. And now you have this. So I'm going to go ahead and import the second photo that's going to be um, what the transition goes into. Now that I've done that, um, Okay, now that I've done that, I have my two photos. Don't mind that this one is a little bit longer. The only I use one QR code, which is for my shakes, because I'm not super good at shakes. But I'm going to give a few examples of some different transitions that you can do. So, the first one is just a basic zoom-in transition. So, first, what you're going to press is you're going to press on new, and then multi-layer. Keep in mind, none of this you have to pay for at all. Then you're going to press the 1, and then your picture. Okay, and here's where you're going to press Edit Keyframes. And then this screen is, will pop up. This may look super confusing, but it's really not that confusing. So what you're just going to do is you're going to bring your little white dot to the middle, and then you're going to press this little arrow. Oops. Make sure the size is at 100, and you're going to press this little arrow right here to make a to put a spot down and then you're gonna go to the end of the video and if you want to do a zoom in then you're gonna follow this so you're gonna bring this little dot up until it gets about to 150 and then you just press to either side um, to where it will go because if you press on this side it'll go one down if you press on this side it'll go one up so then have it on 150 um, if you're a beginner, I would recommend using these preset curves. Um, this one works best, in my opinion, because the outcome comes like this. I use my own um, custom lines. But if you don't want to do that, then you can just use the preset ones, and they work totally fine. Um, and I'll do a video about... Um, your own custom ones later. So once you have that, you're just going to press back. And for when you do this, you most of the time you're going to want to press mirror. And then this one right here. We won't really need it for this clip, but we will need it for the next one. So the result goes like this. 
Okay, you just press create, and then done. And now your clip has the zoom in. Okay, so once you want to do it for the second photo, you're going to do the same thing, new, multi-layer, and then the one, and select your photo. But then you're going to press edit keyframes again. But instead of doing it at the end, you're going to go to the beginning line that's already there, and you're going to bring it out to 50. Okay, then you're going to go into the, you're going to bring it to the middle, and you're going to bring it up to 100. So now you have this, and then you s go inside this, the area that's in between the two lines, press the line right here, and then you're going to do the opposite of this one, which should be on the other side. So we have this. Then, once you have this, you're going to press back, and you're going to press on the mirror, and then this one. So the end of this clip, so the beginning of this clip will look like this. And you just press create. Done. And here is the finished transition of zoom in. So see how easy that was? That wasn't too hard. And it's, the transition looks really good. But if you want to add more to it, you're going to press new, re-effect. And then you're going to press the plus, And then search up focus, like I already have. And then you're going to press on this one. Make sure not it doesn't have the music, don't, otherwise you'll have to pay for it. So press on focus. And then it will bring up this. And you're going to press this button right here. And I, okay, so you, up here, there's the one times button. I'm going to press that to make it one half times. Once you want to um, add the effect, you're going to press re-effect. And once it starts to zoom in, you're going to bring this up. And this just blurs it out a little so that it will look smoother. So I'm going to do that real quick. <coughs> it's pretty easy, and it ends up making the transition look way cleaner since you can't really see where the split is. So we're just going to do the same for the second clip except for we're going to start it being already up. So we're going to have this up here and then we're going to press re-effect and bring it down as the um, picture zooms in. Just like that. And then this is what it looks like with the blur. See? It looks just as great as before, except for it adds a little bit more to it. Okay, so I messed up the last time that I was trying to um, show you guys this transition. But I think that the next transition that I'm going to show you is going to be a spin transition. So you're going to go to the photo that you want the um, transition to be on. New, multi-layer, one. And as you can see, I messed up pretty badly, so I'm just going to select this one and let me make sure that it's the right one. Yep, okay. Then you're going to press edit keyframes, and you're going to go to the middle, and then you're going to go on this, on this one right here, not the size, but this thing right here, and you're going to press that. And then you're going to go over to the end. And you're going to bring this. It can be, it can go either way, but I'm just going to go this way. And then you're going to bring it to 50. Okay, once you have that, now it's going to look like this. Except for you want to press on the line. And then do this one. And then this is what the first part of it looks like. And then you're going to press back, create, done. And then you're going to go to the next, um, the clip that the transition ends on, new, multi-layer, one. And then you're going to select this, edit keyframes, and then you're just going to have the picture. You're going to stay at the beginning, and then you're going to go over here, down to 51, 
and then you're going to go into the middle and then bring it all the way until it is it centered or to one and then you're going to press the line here and then you're going to select this line and then you're going to press back create done and then here is the finished transition um, I would recommend adding the mirror thing that we added earlier to the other clips, but I didn't do that for this one. Um, so, yeah, I, you can leave requests in the comments on my TikTok or on this video for um, transitions to do. Um, I'll probably do another video on it because transitions can be hard to figure out which ones to do. But... This is what we have made by just the um by just the transitions that we have made today. Okay, so I would recommend to add a QR code for your shakes. Um, just so you know, this is not mine. Full credits to the person that I got it off of from TikTok. Um, for the QR code, press, um, new, multi-layer, and then the one, your most recent, and then you're going to come up here and press the QR code, and then import, and yes. So, this is going to come up, this will change nothing. It's just to, it's just warning you in case you, like, did this or something right here. It's going to change that. So, you just want to select this, import, yes, and then your photos are going to come up, and I'm going to select the QR code, and I'm going to let you guys screenshot it. Okay, so this is the code that I am using. Feel free to screenshot it. Um, all credits to free.codes.vs, um, on TikTok. All, like, not, this is not mine, so do not give me any credits or anything. So, just screenshot it here, and then once you have this QR code, press yes, and then fit. If you press any of these, it's not, it's gonna mess up. And then just press OK, and here's what the finished product looks like. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add those to all the other clips, and then I'll show you the finished product with the shake. Okay, so I have just added the shake to all the clips, so I'm going to show you what the finished video looks like. Okay, so that is the finished video. I hope this tutorial helped, because this is the best I can explain keyframes, in my opinion. So... Um, please give me suggestions down in the comments for, um, like, codes or, um, tutorials on how to do transitions. And if I do it next time, I think if I do a tutorial at the end, I might give the codes for the transitions in the video in case you, um, like, sometimes I don't fully feel like doing all the work for this edit, for these edits, so I'll use QR codes, but usually I'll do keyframes because QR codes, in my mind, is sort of cheating, but you can use it all you want. It's not my decision to make for you. So, hopefully this helped. Um, anyways, give me like I said, give me suggestions in the comments. Um, also, give me, um, tell me what you want my tutorials to be. Um, like what tutorials you want next or if you can also tell me on TikTok I will make a video that you can put in suggestions for and you can really do it on any video so yeah I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>